countries throughout the world sign more and more preferential trade agreements. These modern agreements increasingly shape the world economy. Their contents go far beyond pure trade issues. They also cover a diverse range of environmental provisions. So how can we keep track of the provisions in these legal texts? To help researchers, policymakers, and others, the German Development Institute in Bonn teamed up with jean frederic Moron at Laval University in Quebec. His team had closely analyzed more than 600 trade agreements. The resulting data is now made public in a new online tool, Trend Analytics. This tool allows everyone to easily access the environmental provisions of preferential trade agreements and can help different actors with multiple tasks. Trade negotiators, policymakers can search the most recent, most innovative uh, clauses, environmental provisions within a minute or two. NGOs need reliable information to hold the governments accountable at the interface of trade and the environment. And obviously researchers, uh, for example, to assess the effectiveness of specific environmental provisions. Traditionally, trade agreements have aimed at reducing tariffs, but nowadays we see more and more trade agreements that include non-economic policy areas, including the environment. Already 85% of all trade agreements include environmental dimensions. So the idea of trend came from the realization that we actually know very little about trade agreements and environmental provision. Uh, experts in the field uh, know a lot about a few trade agreements. And, and, and today, there is a wide diversity of environmental provision that are not very well known. Trend offers academics various options to play around with the data and find out new, uh, interesting empirical puzzles they can work on. Simply because there are 15 or 20 new trade agreements every year. Uh, we felt that there's a need to visualize this fascinating data to make this, um, uh, to make it accessible to a broader community. That's why we set up this tool. In light of heated debates about the interlinkages between trade and environmental protection, and broader debates about how trade can contribute to the achievement of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, as well as how we can make globalization fairer, I think that trend analytics can offer a new basis to address these questions to offer more knowledge, more transparency, more data for research and evidence-based policy making to address these challenges going ahead. But then I realized that trend can be used not only as a source to investigate this research question, but also as a tool to actually promote the diffusion of the most interesting provision by making them uh, widely accessible uh, to, um, to a broad audience. The private sector needs an easily accessible tool to navigate the increasingly complex landscape of environmental provisions in trade agreements. A trend can also increase the accountability of trade policy making by giving NGOs an easy to use tool to find out what governments have committed in international agreements. And you would be surprised how many commitments on environmental protections governments have actually signed up to in the context of preferential trade agreements. We now have nearly 700 different agreements in full text. And, and as you know, some of them have more than 1,000 pages. And so every one of them was read twice, from the first line of the preamble to the last line of the annexes, by two independent coders. And they, these coders use a very detailed codebook providing precise rules of inclusion and exclusion for nearly 300 different types of environmental provision. And any discrepancies between these two coders were arbitrated by a third person. 